we can see that because of the way this is built, this is just one hard edge. So it's going to look quite CG, quite a hard edge. And we can actually, rather than go in and on the model, chamfer all these edges and make them softer, we can use a map. And that map is called the V-Ray Edge Textures Map. So back in our material editor, let's close that, make some more space. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a V-Ray map and that map is going to be the V-Ray edge texture. So now if I apply this into our bump slot, and run the interactive, we can see that we have a lot softer edges. We can kind of see them here. I'm just going to stop it and do a comparison with the one before. And you can see these edges have become a lot softer which is great, but we have plugged it into the bump slot, so we're not getting our texture in the bump slot. So what we need to do is combine this V-Ray edge and this color correct. So to combine these, we're going to use a V-Ray comp texture, which is in maps V-Ray, V-Ray comp text. And we can see we've got source A, source B, and the operator is adding these two together. So let's plug our edge texture into A. And I'm going to plug our bump map into B. And then I'm going to plug those into the bump slot. So now if we run the interactive, we can see that we have our soft edges on our door and we also have our bump map working for the wood grain. So just comparing the two now, you can see it's just, that looks really CG to me, very hard edges. And this has just added a nice soft edge.